Great shout out to Ecofrost Solar Solutions for sponsoring uh, these extreme boating videos for the month of June and July. Thank you guys. Visit them in the description below and find the links and contact details. Oh, So very very low light conditions for the camera but visually it's a right for the eye okay we got focus sizing up the channel sandbank is very very shallow today it was low tide run about quarter to five I believe getting the boat onto plane because there's no it's basically rapids on the sandbank Let's see if we eat sand there no. Nothing, he got through fine. Well done, Lafras. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. You're hunting taking Maverick himself today. Just still making sure everybody's got life jackets. Maverick 2 154 stroke Suzuki's on the back of a butt cat. I think it's a 8.3 meter if I remember correctly. People want me to shout out the statistics here. I don't know all the statistics, but I'll try my best. Nobody getting his line right for the corridor. People want tell me it's called the suicide alley last time I pulled something in the graveyard it didn't turn out well so let's just stick with the corridor rose bowl corridor nice snaps well done your Anki enjoy the day happy hunting very easy launch here at St. Lucia history last week or two a lot of mist on the ocean as you can see, look at the cloud bank of mist. Jet ski from Rich's Bay. Floating nicely. After the, behind the jet ski is my lacquer coming. on the power sticking it to the opposite side of the sandbank lining up the corridor at the 45 degree angle it's a little wave standing up there in the rose bowl but there's nothing much to worry about yo that's a big one but it dissipates quickly And there it's done. Running north, happy hunting, enjoy the day. And small lacquer is floating, the 130 Yamaha has started, it's a butt cat. Not sure of the length, I think. Let's see if we can find it somewhere. Signature series. It's so a Batcat 600 XL with two 130 four-stroke Yamahas on the back. Bite from Shushui. Running nice and smooth towards the corridor. He's got his angle perfect. 
got his speed perfect, the size of the boat is perfect, everything is perfect. What a beautiful launch. Any happy hunting, enjoy the day. Curly Blue, a 22 foot Hellcat with two 140 Suzuki's on the back. Look at him fly. He's going to use the speed of the boat to get over the sandbank, although it's deep enough. Beautiful. That is what the Hellcat is famous for. It can handle the shore duck, the shore break. Well done, happy hunting, maple side and fill your hatches with great, great catches. Enjoy the day. A little duck there. Now the motor, the motor started fine. Okay, there it started. Lone fisherman. I would also rather have a duck than a jet ski. It's my personal choice. Jet ski guys might argue with me, but that's just my personal choice. But probably not exactly the same running cost, but very much close. Much more space. Filling out these controls, making sure everything is tied down. Right, now he's sizing up the corridor. Corridor pretty much straight in front of the estuary mouth at the moment. It will be turning now, you can see that it's, the outflow has slowed down a lot. Beautiful sharp turn there. Definitely got the maneuverability, not the same forging depth as a jet ski, but pretty much the same maneuverability. many more rods that you can put out at one time what's he gonna do with that ugly one in front of him there's a lot of dead space so it just dissipated quite quickly he has to turn north and he's taking it slow. Well done. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. Wave dancer with bar and skipping today. Wiseman, stop. Jeez. Phew. I thought the nose of the tractor is going to disappear there suddenly, but it didn't. Wave Dancer, a 930 Sports Fisher with two 200 Suzuki four strokes on. Warren bringing it up to the plane. He needs to take the boat on a plane over the sandbank down the corridor. There's no wave, so it's easy to do it. Whatever Poseidon throws at him, he can just bash through it this morning. Beautiful launch, Warren. Maybe beside and fill your hatches with great, great catches. Enjoy the day. Sightland getting ready for big fish today. I call that a walk around. I hear it's actually called a center console by the health. George 
trimming the motor, motors down slowly to make sure there's enough water. 22 foot Hellcat with two 115 Suzuki's at the back. Now that's the same size boat as Stella and a blue, curling blue and we are Els launch today. Stella's got two 150s on but no Stella didn't launch today and uh, curling blue has got two 140s on and this boat is doing fine with two 115s. Look at this fly. So imagine how the, the other boats are powered if the, the 115s is doing 100% fine. Well done George. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. I hope you get what you're going to chase for. And may it be big. And may your day be prosperous. Sabunani being pushed. It's the Hellcat, I don't know if it's a 22 footer. I'm going to find out. What motors. Which is definitely Suzuki's. 140, so it must be a 22 footer. You can't have 140 on some, something much smaller than a 22 footer. Let's just keep on in, in, in it again. Yes, 140s. Oh, that boat must fly. I mean, Cyclone has got two 115s on. This boat has got two 140s on. is coming up to speed and my lens has fogged up sorry i'll clean it now didn't anticipate it happening well done perfectly executed in a soft focus situation <laughs> happy hunting enjoy the day next boat to launch is wizard Also a boat with lots, packs a lot of punch behind that small boat. I see now, I know it's Yamaha's. Yeah, full stroke Yamaha's. I think it's 100s. Anyway. Asked Wizard just now what the boat is on WhatsApp. Then on the next launch I will know. Out of focus. Why am I fogging up so quickly? Anyway, I couldn't find what mode size motors it is from this angle. I know what it is, I just forgot. But nice launch, little wizard, right into the open ocean. Just that one little one that he has to bump through. That's it. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Next boat to be pushed is Mons on Asterix. A 21 foot V cat, pulled by Tri Cat, Tri Boat, with 294 stroke Suzuki's on it. Mons normally runs the boat very, very, very nose light. And it goes like a rocket with those two four strokes as you on the back. Very well balanced. Yes, 90s. On a 21 foot. Other guys has got two 140s on a 22 foot.
what Spahn's going to do with that shore dump after that white, white water in front of him. The foamy on standing up on his shoulder, he has to run away for it, from it. Nice ugly one closing rose bowl for him, but he got in front of it. We're gonna print us an asterisk. Yep, almost. Nicely done, Mons. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. That's a beautiful push. Well done Berno, happy whaling, enjoy the day. Station 40, jet trip on the way to assist Advantage Charter. One with a vessel in distress. That's a rubber duck that's in distress and Advantage Charter 1 is going to bring him back. I'm going to link in the video the end to the life broadcast that I'm going to start streaming any minute now. Right, on the horizon is definitely a advantage charter one approaching um, the rubber duck that is in distress. The rubber duck and Lucky, the, the vessel Lucky that was pulling it from Jolly Rabino to the front of the HTML has been disconnected. So it's waiting for Advantage Charter 1 to bring it through the surf zone. It would have been nice if I could tie the H70Hs with the live stream. There's Advantage Charter 1 coming in hot. Berna is a member, a senior member of Station 40. Um, he has done this before, not once, but various times with it on this Charter 1. Okay, that is Advantage Charter 1, attaching itself to the rubber duck. Advantage Charter 1 is lining up to attach itself to the rubber truck. Berna hasn't got a deck in to help him today, so he needs to roll out the ropes, get somebody to help him to do it, or one of the passengers. No, he has got a deck in, sorry. Um, there is an emergency personnel with him on the vessel today, just for sightseeing. Guys, I'm just going to put the tablet down for Okay, Pontius Charter 1 is tying up to the rubber duck. Sarai is there to assist with tying on to the rubber duck. Yes, they're under tow. 
Advanced Charter 1 has got the rubber duck under tow so he's going to do one smooth movement his charter will be sitting down it's a full boat charter and Advantage Charter 1 10 people and they are coming towards the estuary mouth right, Charter 1 is lining up Station 40 Rubber Duck is next to it next to them and the Rubber Duck is in tow Charter 1 approaching on speed the Rubber Duck in tow, the jet up next to them this is a life um, shall I call it a rescue? Nobody is injured. Uh, Charter 1 is approaching this back line now very soon. You guys will see it on the tablet as well. that his line is long enough so that the um, rubber duck doesn't swing in his wake stop he's doing something for final approach there yep they're approaching twenty three people watching thirteen likes And they're uh, approaching Bernos and final approach. You guys can see the white on the on the tablet on the live stream. That's advantage charter one approaching the surf zone. The rubber duck in tow. My connection is unstable. That's not my fault, NTN. Wake up. We're doing a live broadcast here. Berno is entering the surf zone. It's in the surf zone. You guys can see that on the tablet now. coming through the surf zone with the rubber duck in tow has to keep the rubber duck also in front of the waves not only himself coming down the channel with the rubber duck as you guys can see it clearly there Gonna run both vessels onto the beach. Advantage is on the beach, the rubber duck is on the beach. All went down safely, guys. Just look at that. Well done, Berno. Well done. The vessel that was towed home, 75 district mariner. Probably why the guys like the jet skis more, eh? Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Press on me and pardet. It's free of charge. It just means YouTube will recognize you as an individual on the channel.